What's going on, dreamers? I just wanted to make a quick video real quick, show y'all what I just finished doing. Uh, I came out here and my yard is infested with crabgrass. I finally picked up some Quinquillac, 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 however you say it, uh, 75 DF, uh, it's the powder granule, uh, water soluble, it looks like this right here, not Bermuda grass, but I know Alan says don't put on warm season grass, it's not for warm season grass, um, use Celsius for warm season grass, well when I went to order Celsius, they didn't have it. So I got that Quinquillarac from DoMyOwn.com and I was reading the label. The reason I got it, I was reading the label and it is listed for Bermuda grass, but it has an asterisk next to it. It says if you're using Bermuda grass, using it on Bermuda grass to put either a water soluble fertilizer or to put a um chelated iron mixed in with it so that's what i did i ordered the lawn star chelated iron got that um mixed it i didn't record me spraying because i know it's gonna be a long just blah blah so i just want to show you what i did and what i have right now so yeah So this is what I have. I've got these crabgrass spots and you can kind of see, you can see the blue. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it on camera or not from where I sprayed. Cause I used the marking blue. That one, you can probably definitely see that one. But anyway, I got all these little spots. Over here, over there, all around, all around the yard. And a lot of this came from when I killed off in the spring. I had to kill some spots that I thought were crabgrass. And come to find out, fuselade I, I does not cooperate well with what I had in here because I have Bermuda and I thought I had some tall fescue more than what I had anyway but I mean you can see on camera you can just see I got infested with crabgrass it's just a nightmare so we sprayed that and we're gonna look and see what we got and see what it does. Hopefully I didn't kill everything off. Now, I did this over in my backyard a little bit too, just because I had a little bit left. So my backyard, I haven't paid much attention to this year. Um, it, it's, it's just a mess, but I'm gonna get to it. Uh, also, if you can see, this is my tall fescue strip. This was my domination strip. And I let it go to hell. Um, I didn't water it. Um, because the main thing is I wanted the fescue to die off. Because my plan is to go 100% Bermuda. Um, and also my neighbor's yard. <laughs> I'm going to be re renovating her yard as well. Her yard is loaded with crabgrass, so I think what I'm gonna have to do with her yard, though, is a complete overhaul with glyphosate. So, but anyways, you can see I've just got a madhouse back here, and it's just ugly. But let me show you this real quick. This part of the yard. I have not done anything to in a while and I was 
taking care of this. I got crabgrass in here too. And I sprayed this part of the yard too. Um, and I was not taking care of this. But I just want to see if you can see. Oh yeah. Look at that. That is pure domination. That's beautiful. So. I did that. Um, I was taking care of that whole part of the yard. Uh, that other half is the neighbor's. But the neighbor said that he wanted to start cutting his own and take care of his own over on that side. So, that's fine. We'll fight it out. Competition. You see who's dominating. You know who's always going to be dominating. That's pro, uh, pro care, all natural. Um, and I put some RGS and Air 8 and Humic 12 uh, all down in the spring. And I have not done anything else to it. And it is still looking good and strong. And I didn't do the fusillade on that side. But I did do it in my front yard for whatever reason. Which was absolutely ignorant. But anyway. Anyway guys. I'll see y'all back here in about a week. Um, and we're going to look at the results. And see if I messed up my yard again. Oh well. Peace. Hello.